Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're making a cropping tool like uh, the one that Facebook uses for its viewers when you're changing your profile photo. So to demonstrate what you um, can actually do with this, uh, let me load in an image, hit browse. Let me load this image with uh, plenty of people and say upload. And when I hit upload, I get this interface where I can actually now zoom in to a specific image for example there and hit crop and then I get uh, the image that I want I could move to this one hit crop and so on and so forth so pretty neat so stay tuned it's a little bit of a, uh, a long tutorial over several parts but trust me it's worth it all right so let's begin to start with uh, open up your text editor I'm using sublime text and we're going to create three new files. So the first one will be the index file where we upload the image. The second one is the interface where the user selects which section of the image to crop. And the third one is the PHP file that actually crops the image. So let me save this first one as index.php. So I'm going to my ZAMP folder. I created a folder in here called FB crop. So I'm going to save that index.php file in there. Oh, okay. I save the second one as interface, interface.php. Okay. And I save the last one as crop.php. All right, so let's go to our index page, first of all. And in here, let's create a form. So in there, we're going to put our inputs. So let's start with the input of, uh, of type file and I'm going to name it file as well just for simplicity's sake and then I'm going to add another input and this time it's a submit so that we can actually submit our content. I don't need to name it but I'll add a value of upload so we see the, the word upload there. Let me add a break there so that there's separation between the two. And an important thing in the form is to make sure that we declare the method as post, this number one, and then we add an encoding type of um, multi part slash form hyphen data. So this is very important. The encoding type is very important when uploading files. Without it, files would not upload. So let's add some PHP at the top to process the data when we uh, submit the form. So in order to check if the form has been submitted, we're going to add an if statement using the server, the server global variable and ask for the request method. We ask to check the request method if that method is equal to post. Uh, sorry there. Post like that then the user has clicked the post button. So once that happens, what we want to see is what's written in the file. So I want to print a readable. There's a variable that's created called files like that. That's what contains the file that we are uploading in there. So I want to see that. So I'm going to use some pre tags as well to make sure that the array that I'm printing to the screen uh, looks uh, readable to the human eye. So let me put that at the end, opening, closing, pre-tag, uh, echo that out, and let's see what we get. So let me go and run this. So I'm going to type localhost uh, fbcrop and index.php. All right, so there we are. That's what we have. Please make sure that Apache is running on your system so that your PHP uh, can actually run. I'm using ZAMP in my case. All right, so let's hit browse and let's look for an image. So I want an image with uh, people in it. I think I have one here uh, in one of these folders. So let me go down. There's a particular image I'm looking for, this one. And I hit upload. So once I upload, this is the array that is created. So what I'm interested in is the temp name because that's where the file is uploaded to so i want to move it to a better area 
These are other details about this file that has been uploaded, the size, the type, and the name, and if there's an error. But this is not a, uh, a detailed tutorial on uploading images. If you want more details on this, you could go to my um, other tutorial that I did on uploading images. All right, so as we can see here, in this array, we've got files as a memory location and temp name. So to get to temp name, we need to go through files there. So let me just copy that. Uh, copy. And let's go back here. So we don't need this anymore. This was just to show what's inside that array. So what I want now is to move the uploaded file and conveniently there's a, uh, a function called move uploaded file. So here we get the source and of course the destination. So the, in, in the destination, I just put a hard coded image.jpg because that's where I want that image to end up. Okay. And then the source, let me create the source. So I'm going to say source is equal to, we remember it's the files uh, array in file because that's what we named it uh, down here. And then we add temp name there. So let me put some embedded commas there. So this is where the source is and we are copying it from the temp name to image.jpg. All right. So when, when all this is done, we want to echo complete so that we see that uh, the file has been uploaded. So let me refresh this and browse again, go to the image and hit upload. And then we have uh, complete, yet it has echoed this again. Oh, sorry, I left this printer there without knowing, but uh, at least now we know that it has worked. Now, instead of us, it showing us the same page, we want to move to another page. So in order to do that, we, we use the header and change our location. So we tell the headers to go to another place. And this time we want to go to our new file interface.php where things are going to be further processed. And we're going to add the die so that we have a clean exit. So when, when the file is uploaded, the header will take us to another page and then we're going to die so that we exit this script right there. So let me go to interface so that when we when we load in this um, file, we see something at least. So I know the file is going to be image.jpg. So we'll just put something there to show it. And the style, I want the width to be something like 400 pixels. And that's it. So this is going to be displaying the image that we've just uploaded. So let's test our script out. All right, so let me browse and let's go to our file and hit upload and boom, everything seems to be working pretty well. All right, so this is the end of part one. So in part two, we're going to see how we're going to create that JavaScript interface in order to select where we crop the image. See you in another video.